Hi, Greg Lewis, Metastock Software. In just a moment, you're going to hear a presentation by Mike Rochelot on trend momentum and risk management. I know you're going to love it. Mike Rochelot is one of our newest partners, and some of his systems have been incorporated into our brand new Metastock 15. If you're interested in getting Metastock 15, go ahead and uh, follow the information here on my left, or click on one of the links provided. Uh, I should also point out that Mike Rochelot's new add-on uh, Teach Talk Trade Trend Momentum Toolkit is also available for $100 off either separately or when you upgrade or buy Metastock 15. So I hope you enjoy the presentation and successful trading. Hey guys, it's uh, it's Jeff here. Hope you guys are doing well. I want to make sure you guys can all hear me. If you can, just go ahead and type yes. And we're, we're going to go ahead and get it underway. Sorry, we're starting just a few minutes late today, but uh, we're trying to get the recording ready. So, welcome, welcome to the classroom. Um, glad to have you. I know you, we're going to go straight to your most important part or your favorite part today, so let's go ahead and do that. Today's demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastock and the company software plugins. It's not a recommendation to buy or sell, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Metastock should have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of the software, any trading strategies, or any uh, information provided in connection with the company. I know you do, Lewis. I know you love those legal disclaimers. So anyway, we've got a good class today. Um, here's a picture of Mike Rochelot, who's going to be our guest speaker. Mike, uh, Mike uh, has graciously uh, uh, included a bunch of free systems in Metastock, uh, three of them to be exact. And so we're going to do some training on, on those uh, new Metastock systems for 15. Uh, it's also part of a, a larger product that he's uh, released, uh, the uh, Trend Momentum Toolkit. Mike's been doing this for a while now, 30 plus years. He's got... Uh, uh, the product's pretty cool. It tells you exactly how many shares to buy, what your stop losses should be, that kind of stuff. But his background is in risk management. And um, Mike, why don't we bring you on here? Okay, can you hear me, Jeff? Yeah. Welcome to uh, your very first Metastock webinar. Yes, Are well, you thank you. And uh, we've known each other, what, over 10 years now from our Metastock family here. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, are you going to enjoy your first webinar? Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. What do you want to tell us about yourself? Um, well, the the big thing that I see in uh, trading, trading systems, and so forth, we'll get into a, in a little bit later here, is the risk and money management is a big portion of this software. So we'll tell people or show people exactly what uh, they should be buying, where, when, the exit and how much based on their own personal uh, characteristics, their own accounts. Uh, so we'll, uh, like I said, we'll get into it. Uh, you, you plug in these uh, risk metrics, uh, your account size and so forth, and Metastock will graciously tell you how many shares to buy, where to put the stock, when to get out. So it's going to be, uh, it's pretty exciting. It's, it's things that I've used over the years that I find very, very useful, and I hope the traders will find it useful as well. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get you underway. I'm going, I just turned over, there you go. It's perfect. It's just like we practiced. All right, great. <laughs> All right. And we can hear you, by the way. So Okay. I'm going to get out of the way. Go ahead, go for it. All right, thanks, Jeff. Uh, well, again, welcome, everybody, uh, to this presentation. Um, we're going to go over the Trend Momentum Toolkit, that is the add-on, and what I call Magic in Motion, and hopefully by that picture that you'll be able to trade in a calm fashion, just like that. I love that picture of how it is, and uh, you won't um, be all stressed out trading. Uh, with trading, uh, again, I love this picture I've had over the years in different webinars, is you know, help wanted, striking it rich the hard way. Uh, trading is not easy. It can be fun and enjoyable if you follow some rules, follow your trade plan, and uh, 
find it a lot easier. And again, if you have some helpful tools along the way. Um, I put this up. Why should I use the, tr the trend momentum toolkit? Well, over the years, I've seen that you know fundamental facts are subjective. I've always used systematic approaches that are objective. Um, the mechanical approaches to the market are easily designed and tested, and you'll be able to do that with this toolkit. And they're an unbiased judge of market conditions. Again, we're looking at numbers. We're looking at the market. It doesn't lie. I wish I could present to you a crystal ball so we all could see what the future is, but nobody can see what the future is. So you know, we have to rely on the current market conditions, and I like to trade price, and that's basically it. Um, thoughts on the momentum. Um, with the momentum oscillators that I've put together, um, they filter out some of the noise and suggest overbought and oversold conditions where I look to trade. Um, for those of you who aren't uh, familiar, the momentum is a slope of the curve. Again, it's the current price minus the price one time interval ago or x times interval ago. And then the oscillators allow the trader to adopt reasonably reliable decision-making approach to the market. And uh, we'll, we'll see in a couple slides. I want to quickly go through this because I know everybody likes to look at slides and uh, what uh, what's really happening. Of the uh, systems, the momentum measures the velocity, and that's where we try to pick up the overbought or oversold conditions. Uh, the distance traveled up or down by the momentum oscillator is proportional to the magnitude of the move. So some of these, and you'll see, are very rapid uh, momentum oscillators. Uh, some are a little bit slower, and it's all explained in the uh, manual in the toolkit. And what we're trying to look at is short-term market turning points. Okay, so what you want to do is try to catch those turning points when we do use the momentum oscillators. Now, again, with the toolkit and the systems, I do have a couple of trend systems. So, kind of this step back here a minute is I like to combine both of these and diversify a bit. So, I use the trend systems and the momentum systems together. That way, if you're trying to you know capture uh, which way the market's going if in fact over the years like it's been going up the trend systems are going to perform better if we're in markets like now choppy sideways and so forth you're going to find in general momentum type systems will be working better but by combining both of those I think you'll find that you'll get a, a sweet spot and hopefully a nice uh, equity curve uh, for yourself by trading them but in the trend systems, what I'm looking to do is you know, you're trading the price movements after a breakout or a crossover. Um, you try to trade with the energy flow of the market. And again, we're reacting. We're not predicting where the market is going. We have no idea where it's going, but we're reacting to it. And one huge item is have stops. Okay, have definitive stops in the trend systems. The stops are trailing type stops, so you can move it up and... Uh, capture some of the profit as it's uh, going higher. In the toolkit, these are the momentum systems. You're going to get the STO RSI, CMO, FIB CMO, AW, and SEO. And we'll go over those a little bit uh, coming up here. And in the breakout, uh, the trend systems, you get the breakout. Uh, you get what I call my three amigos and the trend rocket system. Now the stochastics, this happens to be my favorite. Uh, you're going to see me using it uh, throughout here, uh, but I do like and use a lot the stochastics RSI system. Um, it compares where the price has closed relative to a price range over a given period of time. That's basically what this uh, is doing. And we'll jump right into uh, this, uh, this chart here. This is what it's going to uh, look like. and. What you can see is I like clean charts. Um, all we have is the stochastic above. Of course, you get the price action. And then if you use the expert advisor on the left to tell you exactly what you're going to be doing. But in this chart, I did do a markup. This is one issue that I currently am following with the system. And I'll bring up later uh, in this uh, webinar here the uh, trend system and the momentum systems. You'll see in a spreadsheet what has transpired since I believe I started this batch May 18th. But as you can see, and again, it's kind of my little way of looking at this and how I've looked at it for years, 
you can see that the uh, with the price action, you see the sell and the buy arrows that are coming up. And the way that you use the system is you'll get a buy arrow at the uh, end of the day, run your, run your systems end of the day, the morning, or whatever. So we're getting in, in fact, on the next open. That's how the system works. And in this, um, in this system, you're either long or short, and you can see uh, what has happened all along. Now, since January, if you take a look at this chart, I tried to do a uh, kind of a year-to-date chart, is you can see I've marked all the areas and the uh, profit you've taken per share out of the market. And as you can see, I'm not going to go through up and down, but basically year to date so far, you've taken out $58.71 of profit, which is pretty good on a stock that let's just say averaged, oh, what, $85 uh, kind of throughout the year of an average price. So we've taken out you know, just about 60, 70% profit um, in this stock by following this up and down, up and down. And as a side note, I did run the system uh, right before I came on here, and in this uh, TSCO, we've uh, it's actually gone up after I had done this chart, and uh, we're getting another signal as of uh, tomorrow morning on this chart. Here's another one. I'll quickly go through it. This happens to be on CHTR. Again, you can see all along you've got your buy, your sell, um, and then you can see there to the left, you've got the stop. It will put in the stop for you. So when you run your charts at night, you can see, okay, I did get stopped out. I do recommend using uh, stops for, I do run into people a lot who don't use stops, but um, in this, you'll find a uh, one indicator that I do have that comes with the package. It's called account settings. And in the account settings, we'll go to the money management portion here for a second. You're able to put in your uh, the value of your portfolio, the risk that you'd like to take, um, and I, I've got it set kind of a default there at one percent, and then the stop value. I use usually between eight and ten percent on a on an issue. But if you go in and change those on your expert advisor on the left, it, when you get a trigger that night, you will see uh, down below, and I'll bring up uh, Metastock. And maybe, Jeff, I know you're listening to this. If you could bring up Metastock, maybe we can switch later on and uh, bring up the account settings. And if you could go into uh, the edit, uh, we can show them uh, what, they, what they're going to put in. Okay, and again, on the uh, charter, this is the system tester. Again, I tested this uh, 1416. This happened to be a test through 923. You can see the profit at 97 points and average profit 11 points per system. And there's an equity curve. Uh, what I do like to do, and when we go through how I use the system, when I start filtering through the system, I like to look at each issue and physically look at the equity curve. Hopefully it's a smooth ride from left to right of the chart, uh, but you're going to find that some have, uh, you know, a, a a nice gain, you're going to salivate and say, oh, I'm going to trade this issue, and then you go ahead and look, and it was because of one day where you have a huge drawdown. So I do use with the system testers. I look at these when I go to scan the issues of what issues are going to perform the best, and I, I do like visually seeing the equity curve. Okay, the next is the Chande Momentum uh, system. This is where the RSI is divides the upward movement by the net movement. And again, I'm not going to go through all the uh, mathematics in here, but it's uh, based on Chande Momentum Oscillator. And it looks for short-term price movements that are not hidden, and it is unsmooth. And again, um, we'll go through here. This is, a uh, again, what's on the chart. Again, I told you I like to keep it nice and clean. And these are the trades that are generated that you will see going forward. On, uh, on the system. And remember, there's five of these momentum systems, and then you've got three, which we'll get into the trend. But I wanted to quickly show you uh, with these, and we'll go through about uh, testing and how I see them. And again, this is uh, 28 points and an average profit of 2.62 points per trade. And again, there's the nice equity, uh, the equity curve. Okay, the FIB CMO. Uh, this I used years ago, and I added it into the toolkit because some people like FIB numbers. I incorporated the FIB numbers in the CMO3. And again, this, uh, I'm going to 
make a note, this is a very quick and nimble uh, momentum oscillator. It creates a lot of trades in a short duration. So if you were a trader who uh, looks at uh, or likes the action, again, make sure when I go through and show you how to test and scan um, for these uh, issues that you do want to trade, um, this is one. Just remember this. This is a quicker one. And you can see here it's up, down, up, down uh, with it. But again, it's similar to the CMO. And again, I just kind of put these in here to visually see as we go through uh, and see that uh, the type of equity curves that these are producing. The AW, I call the AW. Uh, this is a moving average oscillator. A lot of people like trading moving averages. And what uh, we've done is we've basically taken moving a averages and you know, done the magic on them and turned it into an oscillator. Now this is slower than most momentum oscillators for directional changes, and, and again, you got to remember these because these are trade that uh, these trades are based on moving averages. But again, there are a lot of traders who like to trade them, and you'll be able to go through and, and test. This is a bit choppy, uh, but smoother if you trade with the direction. And what you're going to find that uh, I've included in the toolkit is that uh, not only do you have these systems uh, as it is with default numbers is you're, you'll be able to go through uh, with them and uh, there are systems in here to optimize that are already for you to go through and optimize uh, these systems. So I, I would caution you, I'm, I'm not a big believer in uh, a lot of optimization for the main fact is most people over optimize. I like robust figures and we'll get into and I'll show you uh, what I mean with some examples of uh, you know where to trade the uh, sweet spot, but I do like the uh, robustness of uh, the numbers that I've put in as default numbers for all these systems. But again, you can see, uh, look at the top, the odds, oh, it's kind of a loping indicator. You can see you don't get as many trades. Um, you will, uh, obviously, with a, any type of moving average, there's a little bit of lag, and yes, you are going to you know, have to be in the trade, and give up a uh, typically a bunch of profit. If it's uh, in a choppy market, you're going to get uh, kind of nicked up a bit. But in uh, a trending market, you're going to find that uh, you know you get in, you have a few fewer trades, and uh, be able to ride the trend. And again, I, I go through and I'm pretty adamant about looking at these, uh, the, you know, the testing them ahead of time, and then finding my basket of stocks. And here, I wanted to include this. This was a good one. Uh, even though we saw in the other chart, you know, it looked fairly good. If you just look at the chart and the arrows, this is the uh, equity over time. And you can see the last from the last 150 days to 180, the last 30 days is where we got a big jump in the equity. So that's what I would caution you to, you know, take a look when you're looking at these systems is go through these equity curves quickly and decide, okay, am I going to keep this issue or is it something I'm going to toss aside because there are many other issues that, are going to produce a little bit smoother equity curves than this. Okay, the SEO, Standard Error Oscillator. This one is the most nervous. If you want to make a note, if you, uh, when you do get the manual and so forth, that this one's nervous. I call it Nervous Nelly. And it, uh, it kind of jumps around a lot. This one is great for, a great tool for day trading, for those who like to day trade, that you can use a, a, a daily oscillator and get in. Uh, when there are significant spikes with a trend, you will find, what, I guess what I would call safe entries, you know, you can uh, identify with the SEO. And it is uh, it is good during times like this of consolidation as well. And you can see, look at the top graph of that uh, SEO. It, it's, it jumps. That thing is nervous. And that's why I said it's, it's kind of good for if you want day trading uh, with years ago, a number of traders that I worked with, uh, we were, uh, I had a small group, we were using it for day trading, when we were basically in and out in one day. If not, um, we had, uh, you know, a couple days in and out, just because it is a nervous indicator. Now, I'll stop here a second, and on the left where the expert advisor is, you can see this is what you're going to get. Uh, this is for the last trade uh, on the chart that you can see that's a buy. 
is telling you the range used for the SEO, and it's telling you currently that the SEO of the value is 16. So uh, being under 20, it's it's uh, coming in at 16.766. You are looking for a buy, and so now it's going to give you the entry details. It's going to say that you're going to go long following the open, and in this case, I used a $30,000 account size. I believe I used 8%, so the risk per trade, you're going to know right in front of you, okay, I'm risking $225, and then at the following open of the bar, you're going to buy uh, 59 shares. So it is going to tell you in the expert advisor exactly what to do, and again, this is based upon your values. You, you change that account size, you change the risk uh, on it, and you change the stock value. Those are the three items that you're going to need to determine what the size of the position is going to be going forward the next day. And again, there's the uh, equity curve. And again, this looks a lot better than the previous one we just looked at. Okay, the TTT uh, breakout. This is my favorite trend system. It only trades in the direction of the 50 EMA or one of your choosing. And you can choose. Uh, any EMA that you like, some people like it longer, uh, 100, uh, I guess 200 if you really want to be in a long time. I use the 50. Um, we use a trailing stop and exit when it closes below, and I have a trailing stop indicator. And when the price closes below that indicator, it uh, it's time to get out of the trade. And what I've added into this, in case you miss it, is you there are some re-entry points to add either add to your position or to initiate a position if in fact it has um, kind of either run away on you and or you know you uh, run a scan and see like uh, you know we're already halfway through it looks like a decent run and you like it then you can jump in on it. What I'm going to show you on the MKTX uh, since January there were four possible trades. We'll take a quick look at them. Uh, the first signal uh, was short uh, was uh, was a short signal but the 50 MA was flat, so it, there was no trade indicated. The second signal, we did get a $7 loss per share. The third, a 380. And right now, the fourth signal was a um, uh, another buy. And it had, when I did this slide, the stop was 165.95, which I'll show you on the slide here. And that being the case, if it hit that, it would uh, secure a gain of 23.10 per share. Again, with the breakout systems, what I caution in, in my training sessions that I have going over um, all these indicators and systems on a monthly basis, um, we go through and look at issues that people want to trade, are trading, and uh, what to do. And just in general, over the past, I'm going to say, year, we're in such a extended stretch of the bull market is I like to keep, once you're in, and have a decent product. Profit in it is to really tighten up the trailing stop, and we'll take a look and show you on the chart here. Okay, this is what the chart looked at. I did mark for you the items in, and again, a neat thing is on on here you can see the uh, little green dots right here, here, here. Those little green dots that you're going to get on this trend system are re-entry points. Now, on the re-entry point, and I get into too much, it is explained in there, is that you get the dot and you're taking a breakout of the high of that candle. So, again, uh, some people get in trend trades and want to trade, you know, a quarter position, a third of a position, and then add to it. This is a great indicator to take a look and say, okay, I'm going to add. And, again, here, this is the, uh, you can see here, this is the trailing stop indicator. I can tell you on this chart, uh, to date now, this had dropped at this level. It did drop below just to kind of give you an update. So it was uh, the 23.10 in profit was secured in that trade. The three amigos, this is for, uh, again, people who like trading uh, moving averages. Uh, there's a longer term moving average for a directional bias, so you're only going to take trades in the direction of the longer moving average. And the two others are used for triggers. Uh, again, it's a crossover type system, and the drawback that I find personally in moving averages is that uh, you, you kind of have to have looser stops, and you are going to give back a bit more because you're waiting for the crossovers. 
But again, here's the uh, same chart on MKTX with the uh, moving average uh, crossover. And again, you know, your the, the first entry was right in here. If you missed it all along, you had another entry right in here, and you can see these are obviously moving averages are great for a longer term trend. If you can find an issue that happens to fulfill that. And again, here's just a uh, uh, kind of quick indication. If you'd have been in, you would have bought there. You do get an exit signal on the longer moving directional bias moving in, uh, average, and you would have had to have been out. You're in again here, and again, you would have been in for the longer term. This down here uh, is the, uh, it's just the grid, and that's just showing you what the bias is to trade. So if you get these little red, uh, little red areas here, you're not going to want to take a long, you're going to want to wait. And again, there's a further, uh, the third trade in the chart. Okay, the Bandito. The Bandito, I wanted to include this. This is an intraday trading system. Yeah, you can use it on a daily basis. I actually used to use it on uh, Dow stocks, uh, but you got to be quick. You got to you want to be sitting in front of the computer. I don't want to sit in front of the computer all day and have my eyes glued and want to be pushing buttons. Um, so it is a it is one that you can use on a day trading basis. It is a device is designed to take advantage of snapbacks from oversold and overbought. It does work best in issues that are in a price range or oscillating and good for times that are consolidating. So, uh, oh, again, one that I just kind of throw in there that is is something that you should use is look for issues with larger daily ATRs. Um, you're going to find you're going to have a lot more movement. And the rules are simple with the Bandito. When price opens above the upper band, you go short. When it's below, you go long. And uh, in the uh, system that I uh, do teach, I have a uh, I put an 8% stop on all of them, but what I use, and I'll kind of show you on this chart here, is that, uh, again, these are the arrows. So uh, let's take uh, let's take one that didn't work out. Let's take this one here. What I do is we close below the band. You're going to go long. What I do is it, it uh, this one opened uh, below the price. So on this, this one, I wouldn't have taken the trade. This one, I wouldn't have taken the trade. And then this one, you're in. And you're in for the day, or do you reach the next band? But those are really the simple rules. You can see how, uh, you know, when, when it does start trending, you don't want to be jumping in back and forth. But it is a uh, it is a good system for people who like to trade a number of issues that they have and do like to day trade. And you can uh, you can use this system, like I said, for that uh, basis. Okay, uh, get into kind of a little bit of the meat and using the trend momentum toolkit is what I do is I go through and pick a reliable trend or system. I use both, and I suggest people use both. You know, define reasonable default trigger levels. The default trigger levels are already there for you, so you can use the system right out of the box. You can go for it. Um, I've put in trigger levels on these systems that are the I'm not going to say, well, most robust that I've seen over years, not just a short period of time. Um, there's a reasonable stop level. I use 8 or 10%. You go through, pick your test bed, run the system test, review the uh, results, and then pick the best-looking candidates, which we'll go through and uh, show you here. And, uh, again, if you're going to optimize, just be uh, just going to warn people, I, just, I do not like a lot of optimization and over-optimization. An example we're going to go through is the stochastic RSI. Okay, again, I've mentioned that this is probably the most consistent I've seen over the years. It trades stocks, indices, futures, trade what you'd like with it. Uh, it produces the most consistent results at most uh, trigger levels, and I consider it to be the most robust. Again, it's my favorite. I am biased to it. Just want to let you know, but I do look and, and I do trade all five of the uh, momentum systems because some of them trade, some issues trade better with uh, different uh, momentum systems. And this is the logic behind it kind of quickly is in the stochastic RSI, uh, we're looking at a range of 0 to 100 in that uh, indicator you see above. 1090 of the default settings, 
Um, you can optimize between 10, 30, 70, 90. Again, I'm using 10, 90. And you can, I do have a, a template in there. For those of you who would like to just trade with the trend, you can use these momentum oscillators with the, uh, just with the trend. So you only take trades in the direction of the trend. Uh, you do have to remember though, in momentum oscillators, these are for issues going up and down. I do like to take them, uh, go through the test bed and take them, whether or not it's with the uh, major major trend. I found over the years that uh, it, it has worked better for me uh, doing that and not relying. But there are a number of traders that just say, hey, I just want to trade with whatever trend. And you can put in what you want. I usually use a uh, 34. Again, we went over these stop triggers. Um, you know, pick a reasonable stop loss on them. I use eight or 10. Uh, and then pick your test bed. I trade, uh, and again, on these, I uh, can show you what I use. I do go through um, in the uh, member on, on our inner circle every month. I go through and pick the 20 that I like to trade. I like to take them out of the NASDAQ. And I go through and, and uh, we go through the ones that I'm looking at trading. Uh, decide what percent of capital you're going to use. And again, the stop loss uh, that we go through. And again, these are the test beds typically I've used uh, going, going through with the momentum systems. Pick which, which one you like the best yourself and go through the test. Okay, then what you do is I, I go through and I do this monthly as I run a system test and see which issues are performing the best. And again, I use the uh, default settings of 9010. And I'm going to show you some optimization here quickly, but you'll see where this 9010 seems to fall into play. Once you do the uh, system test, you know, get your pad and uh, pencil out and look for ones with high winning percentages. Uh, for those of you familiar with uh, the Metastock software, it's great because you can pick out different areas that you want to look at. But this is what I look at, the high percentage, winning percentage, the average win versus average loss. Uh, again, become familiar with the equity curves, like I said before. You know, Kind of eyeball them and make sure that there's not just a certain period where, the, like the one we saw in the last 30 days where you get most all your profit. Uh, look at issues that are profitable if you're optimizing over a range of trigger levels and then pick them out which ones you want. And then again I narrow it down, I like issues that trade, again when you're doing momentum you need a, a higher win ratio than trend and I look for around 70 percent or so uh, and then I look for a high, higher average to win ratio. Now again, if you are going and optimizing, uh, and I'll show you, pick uh, the optimization levels that have symmetry, 90-10, 80-20, um, because you're going to get all kinds, uh, the whole gamut through this. And here we go. Here's, uh, here's one. I set the default level on the NASDAQ 100, did a test, and here it is. You can see I uh, ranked them from net profit down. And again, I'm not going to go through... Uh, number of you who have Metastock know how to use this, but look at the number of trades, the, the uh, win ratio, like the first one, eight to one. Uh, and I, I list down about, just to tell you what I do, I list down about 30 of these uh, based on this. Then the second thing is I go through and I look at the average win divided by average loss. And again, you can rank these high to low if you want, but take a look at those. And what you're going to come up with, again, is another list of... Uh, items that you're looking and saying, hey, I do like this average win divided by average loss. And again, I, I narrowed this down for you, but this is what you're going to come up with. And again, what I do every month and share with the members in the inner circle. And you'll see that you have uh, issues that, uh, you know, you've got Costco here, average win Costco, um, you know, CTX, you got CTX here. So what, what I do is I go through and I say, okay, I'm going to pick my 20 issues out of these type of metrics. And then I come up with the best 20. If you want, you can optimize. Some people love optimizing. I know people do a lot of optimizing, walk forward and so forth. And if, you, if that's your thing and would like to do it, you can go through and you can optimize. And in the stochastic, I'll optimize for the buy from 1 to 20 and the sell 80 to 99. 
Okay, and here you go. Uh, and again, this is kind of what I wanted to show you. This is on Monster, and this is optimized, uh, running through and seeing, uh, okay, what are the trigger levels? And you can see, I, I like looking at it because you can see that, look in general, you're 80, <clears throat> 85, 90. Those are the trigger levels that are coming up uh, with the best uh, numbers. And then in here, again, you can see we're right around, what, 10 or 11. So what does that bring us to? It brings us to, again, I put the arrow here, the 80, 90. One thing I'll cautious you, uh, if you are optimizing and going through, do not take the first one um, all the time. Because you're going to find that, uh, again, going forward, that's probably not the one that's going to work the best. I like looking down and like this of saying, okay, kind of in a grouping. Uh, if this was optimized and, you know, in the past, you know, you did get the, in the past 50, 150 periods, you know, I got 30 or 20, you know, let's say 25, 26, what's the difference? Uh, you know, it's five points on this issue. Um, I'd like to find something that hopefully is going to work going forward. And again, there's the equity curve. And again, I'm going to go through these quickly here so we can get to the, uh, to the end here in case there's any questions. But again, on these next few slides, just take a look. You can see this ha happened, that 90-10 happened to come out uh, the best on so CDLG. There's the equity curve here again. INFY, you can see where the 90-10 happened to come out when I did optimize. And I wanted to show you these slides to show you that, yes, you can optimize and go through, and, but also find where this uh, 90 10, which I would consider the, for the stochastic, a robust set of 90 10. And let's see, there's that. I want to bore you with these charts here. But again, this is what you can do to optimize. Yeah, let's go. Okay, here's CML3, just again to kind of show you. Again, this is what I go through on all of them, and uh, I do go through every month and find the issues that work. And what you're going to find uh, with these is if you can take the time and go through, you'll find the momentum system that you like to work with the best, and you'll find that a lot of issues work very similar among momentum systems. So you can hone in with what seems to work best for you, that you have a better eye for, or, or that you like. And then I usually, also once a month, I put them up against each other and to see which uh, which system is working uh, better. Uh, a lot of people have asked me, what's my daily routine? Again, I'm not one for sitting in front of the computer uh, with my eyes glued to it, uh, trading every minute, five minutes. Um, I don't do much day trading at all, actually. Uh, what I use the time for is for research either in the evening and or during the day. Uh, and this is what's nice about, uh, and I've always loved with Metastock and being able to do the swinger day trading type systems is you're able to do that in a more relaxed uh, manner uh, going forward. Uh, but I do run the, uh, my daily routine is after the market closes, I run my issues. I put my orders in at the market, adjust any trailing stops, and then enjoy the rest of the day. Uh, you know, it takes, uh, it could take, you know, what, 10 to 20 minutes once you have your basket up and running to be able to do this. Um, again, diversify. I like to use both systems together, and I'll show you kind of just quickly on a, on a spreadsheet the issues that I've used with these systems uh, since, uh, I guess, the middle of May. Stops and no stops. Again, I wanted to get to the money management portion. Again, what I do like is you're able to use the stop that you like. I like eight or ten percent. Um, you know, but you can adjust it in the in that indicator to uh, what works for you the best. If you want it five percent, pop it in at five. It'll tell you the number of shares to trade. Where you, again, where your stop is. Uh, you know what you're risking. Um, and again, for my systems, I risk a half a percent to one percent on any trade. At eight or ten percent stop, and run with the numbers that Metastock tells me. Okay, in again with these systems, there are uh, trend identifiers uh, working with a moving average, and you can put on trades only with the trend. Again, if you do that, look for something of sixty, uh, like sixty-five or seventy percent higher, and again, eyeball the equity curve. 
I want to go through and since we're on that, kind of to just give you a quick little point. I'll bring the uh, spreadsheet up. This is the spreadsheet that I am uh, using right now, and this goes back to May 18th. Just kind of want to show you these are the trend trades, and since May 18th, uh, when it's in, you can see that. Uh, well, this last stock here, you know, I traded eight shares. Uh, the trading eight shares. What I'm doing here, below here is kind of a, just to kind of give you an idea is, I look at my worst case number, what I am putting in, and I'll go through the whole thing, is I put my entry, and there's my stop. So these issues that are, are still outstanding right now and running, I, I calculate the loss, because I do use this a trailing stop, and I do move this if the trailing stop moves. So this is kind of, to me, the worst case scenario, unless I get a huge gap in the stock um, on the open. But this is the uh, worst case type scenario. Now that's the trend system, and uh, right now here's the momentum system, and this is what it looks like. Again, these are all open positions uh, at this point in time. And again, I share these spreadsheets with uh, the uh, members in, hang on a second. So, Oh, I got it stuck. There we go. In our inner circle. How am I doing on time? Okay, good. Okay, again, with the system, you can use trend. You put in your own trend filters, stops. Additional exit criteria can be used. Again, use it, uh, the mechanical trading. Uh, you know, you're not thinking. Once you're in here, you're following the plan, putting on the trades. Go. Uh, when you're when you're going through, uh, <laughs> kind of like this. I've used this for years in the webinars. Is I like the traders trade like a samurai, except all the possible losses before entering the trade. And again, this goes back to the money management. You know, make sure you're centered. Trust your sc trading skills. Uh, imagine success only exist in the present moment. And never look back. Again, that's one big thing. Once you put it on the trade, put it on and leave it. They, Hardest trades are the ones that don't make sense to you. You know, you're getting a short, the market's zooming higher, and you're getting shorts. And then a lot of times you'll say, oh, well, I'm not going to put on the short. And lo and behold, that's probably one of the best trades that happen. But uh, in your mind, you are looking and uh, reacting to what's happening. Uh, again, just kind of goes back to just first screen. Never underestimate the damage of uh, the danger of trading. Uh, with it, you, you really need to know before you go ahead. And that's why, with the money management of uh, putting down that you're you're not kind of left out there lurching and or hopefully not wanting to trade, uh, you know, too much risk, and that you're able to put it in, see it, and hopefully that you uh, can live by it and uh, trade by it. Uh, and the big thing in trading that you know we all want the magic indicator. We want the magic. Uh, ball to see what's going through. Well, the only thing is, is, you know, we know the past and that's what we're running our numbers on. The present is a day we're trading and no one knows where the market's going next. And what you need is a solid uh, system, what I consider mechanical approach, and that's how I've traded for years is a, with a mechanical approach uh, to trading. Uh, I'm going to hand it to Jeff here in a second. We'll see if there's any questions, but uh, again, just quickly to mentioned on the on the website along with this add-on tool um, there is an inner circle and Jeff uh, Jeff and I have come up I'm, I'm giving a special rate to anybody that purchases the toolkit it's 59 a month you can go on the website I'm not going to spend a lot of time here and uh, in the inner circle that I have you do get uh, the training on all these uh, daily email updates on any triggers and issues that I'm following and again we have monthly workshops to go over what I what I'm following myself and any questions that you have on any issues it's a interactive session that I do monthly with all the members um, I do take uh, people into a live trading session uh, once in a while if we want to look at like on the bandito or something if the people are interested in it will you know go in on that one you really need live training and then I have the weekly video market updates uh, that I send out uh, to people 
And here's the last. I'm going to let Jeff jump in here in a second. But before we do that, is see, does anybody have any questions? I'm not sure. You might see the questions, Jeff. I don't know if I'm seeing <laughs> yeah. any questions. I wasn't sure if you knew how to look at them, actually. So um, we did have a question uh, at the very front that I would ask people uh, that I promised I'd ask for Lewis. Uh, where's the picture from? Where's the picture from? That is from a partner, uh, years ago partner, Uncle Steve had that picture. That uh, I believe it's out in Denver. Oh, okay. Okay, I thought it might be like your house or something. Uh, no, I would take, uh, if I would get a new picture, I'd take uh, pictures of the waves. I'm sitting here at the beach, so. Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> we also had some questions about kind of like the systems that are included in Metastock. Uh, okay, uh, and I'm, I'm going to kind of take that one on. Do you guys have any other questions for Mike while he's kind of running? Okay, uh, looks like a... Uh, which, uh, which three systems are included in Metastock? Do you remember offhand? I, ha I think I have it in my PowerPoint. Uh, I, I think you might have misspoke. It's I believe it's two, Jeff. Oh, it's is it? Two? I think it's two. It, what's included in the update that we've had is the. Oh no, I'm sorry. It is three. Yes. Sorry. I forgot the, the oscillator. Yes. <laughs> So the correct yeah. answer is it's two or three. Two or three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, as part of it, everything that it kind of shows you, I'm going to kind of go through just a few of the things that I really like about it. Um, there are some things that I really like. There's some really good feedback from the people that have gotten this, but um, the three that we included with Metastock 15 is kind of like a sample, if you would, or, or the Bollinger Band oscillator, the MACD oscillator, and the uh, T oscillator. So those are the systems that are included. The other ones that are available, I fixed this slide. Why is it broken again? Hold on just a second here. Okay, okay, okay. Pay no attention to, to the, the man behind the screen. <laughs> to the man behind the curtain, yeah, exactly. So here's the uh, ones that are available additionally. You've got your trend systems right here. You've got your momentum systems here. So these are, uh, uh, it's a total package of 11 systems. You basically have uh, the three that are included, and um, uh, Mike just wanted to include those. Now there's a three down there. Okay, no, no curtain. Um, so we included three of them with Metastock just so you could get an idea of how cool they were. The other eight are available as part of the add-on for it. Now let me just show you a little bit of, uh, about what um, kind of I like and kind of like what our feedback has been so far. Obviously we've only had it out since like Tuesday, right? So uh, I really like the fact that it gives the precise entries, exits, stop losses, and parameters. It tells you based on your account size and your risk criteria exactly how many shares to buy. It also includes system testing. Uh, which is actually a big thing. A, a lot of you guys have been asking for more implementation into the tools. And so the fact that it has system testing, if you come in here, you can actually go in and say, well, these are the instruments I want to trade. Right? I can come in here and say, okay, show me not only what securities work well, but what securities they work best with. And, um, and so you do have the ability to go in and test that and kind of say, okay, you know, there's a lot of things to work with. And you know, uh, if you've been trading systems for a while, some, some securities will work, or some systems will work really good on securities, but on some, some securities, they're just going to tank. And it's because you're either talking about a system that has a trend or uh, a momentum or uh, something else, right? You want, we want to be able to do with system testing is find the right match for you. And so I did a little bit of a system test a little bit earlier today. Uh, Amazon is an example that came out up as something that tested really well for the last year. And so that's how I got this example. But the reason I was able to be able to find that is the fact that system testing is actually included in, as part of the package. And um, uh, he, uh, he did a pretty good job with it. Uh, give me just a half a second here. I'm gonna, I'm uh, going to cut down on some of the background noise there um, for you. The other thing that I like is obviously you can go in and run a scan if you like. A, if you find a system that you like, it, you'll be able to have a, 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 of course, a scan and real quickly identify the opportunities. But the 
the way that it works here is if we, you know, let's just say we just have this buy signal that, that we did a scan back in March and Amazon came up on this particular buy signal right here. It's going to tell you very specifically based on your account size. Now my default, my account size is at the default. I didn't go change it um, yet, but it's uh, based on your account size of $10,000, your risk per trade is $100. Here's how many you should buy. Here's where you should enter it into the trade at the open of the following bar. Here's when you should exit. Here's your stop loss. And um, kind of tells you a little bit about the system as well. So I really, really like that because it, it, anytime I can kind of save not getting out the calculator uh, uh, is a good time for me. I've also noticed that the 11 systems that Mike chose to include, well, you know, it's, uh, Mike's been writing systems now for 30 years. He's been, uh, he's, uh, and obviously you can tell his pedigree is in money management. But I've noticed, uh, just looking at him, you'll notice this one is kind of holds for about five or 10 days and then it kind of gets out. Uh, some of the systems are very short term. Some of them are, are more intermediate or longer term, depending on kind of what system that you're looking at. And so depending on, uh, you know, I do a whole class, it's called finding the right strategy for you. Um, and one of the things that I talk about in that class is find something that fits as often as you trade, because a lot of us have different personalities. Uh, for example, I don't have a lot of time to trade. I can look at the market as much as I want to, but I find if I'm looking at it too much, I don't get my job done here, right? So, uh, I like to kind of find those systems that don't trade quite as often as uh, as maybe maybe your your situation is different. Maybe you're somebody that uh, that's retired and this is all you want to do, you know. So you want to find something that kind of matches your personality. You want to find something that works. You want to be able to find the security that it works for. And uh, with those things uh, and with the methodologies, they're really uh, you're going to be able to find something that works really really well for you. Um, and um, I really kind of like the the way Mike has put this together. It's all based on stuff that you know, but it kind of has uh, like uh, MACDs and stochastics, but it has kind of Mike's special rules and a special twist on it and a special money management rules. I really like this product. I think you should try it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> okay. I don't know if that's coming through, <laughs> but in any case, that's kind of in a, nest, uh, in a nutshell what it is and what it does. Uh, again, these are the ones that are included with Metastock. If you've bought 15, one of my poll questions, but because we were running a little bit late, this I didn't ask. But uh, these are if you've if you've bought the upgrade to 15, I know a lot of you probably have already. Um, you're already going to have these. You can go start playing with them and start using them right now if you want to. Uh, the additional ones are based on these are the trend ones that are included in the moment. I love the names of them too: the Trend Rocket and the Three Amigos. Um, but they're based on uh, uh, these are the ones that were part of the additional system. The add-on itself, it's a one-time cost. It's only $499, so well worth it. Of course, we do offer it with our money-back guarantee, so you can take a look at it. If it's something that helps you, well, great, it's worth 400 bucks, right? If it's something that doesn't help you, then uh, you, you, could, you can swap it out, but it will help you. So uh, we just want you to feel real comfortable when you buy something from us. We want you to feel like you got, uh, you got a good product. So. If you buy it with your upgrade, it's $399. It does require Metastock 15. It was designed in Metastock 15. Um, you can buy it, just the add-on itself, at metastock.com slash teach talk trade A. If you need to get it with the upgrade, probably your best bet is to give us a call or chat online. The phone number is 800-882-3040. Or you can visit uh, metastock.com slash sales chat, and they can help you get that uh, order set up. So, uh, any final questions? Okay. Uh, uh, Mike, I'm going to turn your microphone back on and see if you have any final thoughts for us. Maybe you can tell us who's going to win on Tuesday. That would be nice if I... Other. How's that? <laughs> other. <laughs> that <would be> nice. <laughs> uh, just, just one other thing that uh, I failed to mention, you did too, and I didn't see a question come through, but there are included as well the templates for all these you don't have to build all your templates oh yeah of course yeah um so um yeah there are templates that are included for all the systems one of the things that i really kind of liked when i was going through the manual is he uh mike mike wrote it 
uh, it's number one. Uh, the, the first thing I didn't like uh, uh, that I really like about the manual is I didn't have to write it. <laughs> number two, though, is he does go in and talk about kind of the strategies and uh, uh, the alternate exit conditions that you can use. I, I thought you did a really good job with the manual, Mike. I couldn't oh, nice. have written it by. I couldn't have written it better myself, actually. <laughs> but I liked how in the thing you kind of fully explain exactly what you're doing, but then you had some alternate exit rules. I thought that was really, really cool. And I also thought it was cool that you could test those alternate exit rules with the system tester. Yeah, that's one big th thing that I you know, wanted to get in uh, so people could do it just because I've done it all all my uh, trading career is the testing and uh, I love Metastock because of the testing features that, like you were mentioning you can narrow it down to what works uh, what should work best for you and your own personal uh, way of trading and that uh, tester is just been fantastic and you know Jeff I've used it for years so. I have too almost 20 yeah. now if you believe uh, that I know <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay, the other thing I'd like to ask, you know, it is a brand new product, uh, I, so when you get it, and I just want to know what you think about it. So far, the, the feedback has been amazing. You guys know how to get a hold of me for the most part. It's jeffrey.gibby at metastock.com. I'll type that out for you, but give me your feedback. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like, um, um, And uh, but try it out. It's, it's definitely one of my, um, I really, I'm really excited about what this thing can do for you. So here, anyway, here's my um, here's my email address. Henry, I will read your Skype message. <laughs> do you want me to do it now? <laughs> Let's see what you said. Hold on. Oh, okay, okay. Henry, I will uh, I will get to that. It's been incredibly busy uh, with the upgrade just coming out, but we'll take care of that for you. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your coming today. Uh, let me know if you need anything, and I'll talk to you soon.